Today I want to do a comparison video. A comparison between two like kind of products. I work in a hardware store where they sent me free products to um, try on our shelves, try in a store in hopes that we would uh, market it in a store. Well, this is one of those products right here. I've never used this before. I'm going to compare it to this product right here. Now this one I have used. My wife uses it in her laundry and I use it here in my shop to degrease. These are both considered degreasers, cleaners, and have multiple uses for each of them. And I want to compare them and see if they're approximately the same or if one might be a little superior to the other. Now I'm not going to do it scientifically. I'm just going to find something here in my shop to um, degrease and see, if, see how it works. Now this is the part in my video that I normally say follow to the end and see the miraculous results. Well the truth is I don't know the, what the results are going to be so how can I encourage you to follow to the end? I don't know myself what's going to happen. So if you want to find out with me then I guess I can encourage you to follow to the end. This is an old uh, tool cart that I use here in the shop and you can see it's really oily and greasy. I'll put a piece of tape across here and I'll do one side with one product and the other side with the other product and let's see how this is gonna turn out. I guess that tape idea isn't gonna work. Have you ever tried putting masking tape on oil? Doesn't work too good. What I did was I took a couple of paint stirring sticks and put them end for end. I'm gonna leave them in there. By the way, this one has a price sticker on it of $10.99. That would be the retail cost if I was to sell it. Let's spray this one right here. Come on, spray. You know what, I'm gonna put it on stream. That's coming out too slow to suit this old boy. We'll just saturate it real good. All the way down here. Hopefully it doesn't run underneath and get the other. Okay, that's whatever this is called, tubbo towels. Never used it before. This I have, oops, looks like that's going to come off. Um, this is the boss. And let's see, how does this is on spray there? So this must be stream right there. Let's do the same with this. Yep, there it comes. Like I said, the boss I've used quite a bit. Um, by the way, when I was, if you breathe this in, you can notice it. When I was spraying this, that has a real pleasant aroma to it. It says, industrial strength formula removes grease and grime, pleasant citrus scent. There's that scent. <coughs> this one here makes me cough. But it, it brags about soap scum, tires, fiberglass boats, laundering carpet stains, vinyl siding, gutters, chrome, campers, and more. Caution, eye irritation. I can vouch for that. This one actually went on a lot heavier, so I think I need to put a little bit more over here so it's a fair deal. It came out a little faster out of this one. This, it came out faster out of this one than it did out of this one. By the way, I, I'm not sure what the retail price of this is. But this is a 24 ounce container for $10.99 and 32 ounces. It may be just a little cheaper, I don't know. But ounce for ounce, I have no idea what the price difference is. Something you can figure out. So now I need to let this sit for a few minutes. This side is this product. 
and it's starting to dry up some a little bit around the edges and this one's still real moist yet I'm wondering why that is unless we're running downhill and some of it's running back I don't know like I said this isn't a scientific experiment but it'll give us a good idea this is set for probably 20 minutes. I normally would let something set a little longer than that. But um, I'm going to try it. Like I said, this is this one. And this one right here is the Boss and Tubbo Towel. Let's do the, the Tubbo Towel first. I just got me a shop right here and I'll use clean ones for each side and it's definitely softened the grease but it's not really cut clear through it back on this side let me get a clean towel for over here Wow. Okay, I'm going to get another clean towel and do the tub of and another clean towel to the results of this is extremely obvious to me is it to you what do you think well I don't know what to tell you about this um, I'm sure tub of towel is a, a good product and it's got a catchy name but let me tell you something here guys look at that this is the boss This is the boss. And this is the tub hotel over here. It takes it off, but they're just simply. Yeah, I'm going to use the boss on this side now and I'll just show you. In my opinion, the boss has <coughs> like I said, it makes you cough, but it definitely it definitely cuts better than the tub of towel. That's what I'm going to tell you. I hate to say that. But there just isn't much of a comparison here. They both cut the grease, but let me tell you something here. I mean, for Pete's sakes, look at that. They both cut, but the boss reigns on this here example at least in my opinion like you can see they're both cleaning up but I did spray some of the boss on on the tub of towels side and something else I want to try is these handles here let's put this on there at least on part of it and let it set 
and let's put boss on this side and let it set. Now these sandals are real similar from one side to the other. That is set for about two minutes. Let's do the boss side first. I put it on last, by the way. And I'm using, again, a clean towel. You can see that's bringing that back to the rusty chrome, I guess. Let's see what it does on this side. Here's the clean side on this towel. Rubbing the same hardness. There again, this is down clear through. This still has meld, uh, a little on it. Let's put the boss on there. Let that set for about 30 seconds here. And then I'll take the clean edge of the rag on it again. You know, I have nothing to gain either way on these products. I get nothing for me, ne neither one of them. I just wanted to compare them. And let's see now. Yep, that came right off. It might have come right off too with the other one if I would have done it. I have another side here we can try. Again, we'll put boss on this one right here. Here's the boss. I'm going to spray it right there. And the tubble towel, towel I'll put right there. Now, in all fairness, this is a little dirtier on this side uh, than it is on, on the boss side. Okay, here's a rag. I'm going to do the boss side first. It's been on the longest. There again, right down to the chrome. Now here's the tubble towel. I'm pressing a little harder here to see if it's coming off too, but not as good as the, the uh, boss. I'm gonna spray this again on this side. Let it set just a little bit again. See if we can't get it off of this corner just a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, it's cleaning up. I'll do another test down here. I'll take the tubble towel, tubble towels, and I'll squirt a big spot right there in the center. And I'm gonna saturate it like crazy. Okay, now we're going to take the boss and do the same thing on the other side. One thing's for sure, the boss has a lot stronger um, spraying apparatus. Okay, I have a towel here. We'll do the boss first. It's been on there the least. Can you see me? Cut right down to the red. Did a pretty decent job. We get another rag. It's not too bad. And we'll do the tubbo towels. On that test, I don't see a whole lot of difference. We'll squirt this one more time. Not quite as heavy. And we'll squirt this one more time. Two squirts each. We'll use this towel side right here. We'll start on the boss side. Cleaned up the residue. 
really well. And you can see how this tile is absorbing a lot of trash. We'll turn this over. It's a pretty clean side. We'll use it right here. Now on this bottom shelf, I'm actually seeing that the tub o towel tub o towels has cleaned it up a little bit better than the boss side. Didn't do as good on top, but it's definitely doing better on the bottom. So where does that leave us? This is how this was sitting. Tub Otel's boss. They both cleaned up. Here again, I should have done, and I did, a before and after picture. Uh, what's my conclusions? My conclusion is, this is my opinion. You use whichever one you want, or maybe you have something better. My conclusion is that I'm going to stick with the boss in my shop as long as it's available. It seemed to do a little bit better job on the top here. Maybe not quite as good a job down below. Now actually they... Nope, the tub towel does, does look better down there. Um, on the handles, the boss did a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little. You can see, <clears throat> my conclusion is I'm going to continue to use the boss in my shop. That doesn't mean the tub o towels is an inferior product or doesn't work as good. But for my conditions in my shop, I'm going to use boss. My wife likes it for detergent, especially putting degreaser on my shirts. I get them fairly dirty in here put a little bit on that spot clean and throw them in a washer and they, they do pretty good for the most part. I'd appreciate hearing from you what kind of degreaser you, you use. I know there's a lot of them out there, especially for floor wash and that sort of thing. Um, I use Boss for that as well. Uh, comment, let me know what you use. I'd love to hear it. If you like my videos, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know when my next video is coming out or when it did come out. If you like videos like this, I'd encourage you to watch this one right here. It gives you a little bit of insight of who I am, what I do, because I do a variety. This video right here, can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can it be cleaned? You bet you it can. Can you do it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.